Polygamy. Man, why can't people stay one place? Polygamy is something that is part of Africa. It's part of our culture. It's part of our life. Just like the famous actor that we have, Yola Doce, when he took a second wife, Judy, the whole internet scatter. Is there any woman that deserves to be outside? Because you know this thing called polygamy, a lot of women are actually selfish with it. You know, when your husband gets another woman pregnant, you're like, you want her to stay outside while you're the married one. If a man decides to want to take in the woman that he impregnated, I think it's an honorable thing. And if the first wife feels that she's not comfortable with it, she should take a walk. Mami, what's up? Hi guys, welcome to Moments with Blessing CEO. If you're not sitting in front of your television, you're in a long time. Because today's topic is going to blow the whole place. We're going to be talking about polygamy. So if you're just tuning in, tune in to channel 189 DSTV Pop Central only. Moments with Blessing CEO. We're going to be talking about a very interesting topic the phone number is going to be on your screen that you can call and drop your opinions. Are you ready, guys? It's Moments with Blessing CEO. Everything happening behind closed doors. So let's quickly go with the story that we have today, and it's about polygamy. You know, there's this trending thing that I've been on the internet with one actor and one actress. But don't worry, let's get into the story so that we can get to drop our opinions. So let me read the story out to you guys so that we could actually start off the show. So the person said, Blessing CEO, I greet you, one of your biggest fans on Facebook. So let me get some advice from you. I also watch your program, Moments with Blessing CEO on DSTV. Thank you, sir. I've been married for seven years now, and I am in love with another woman. I still love my wife, but I don't know how to tell her that I got a side chick pregnant, and I want to marry her. Is there any implication to polygamy? I want my children and my family under one roof. But how do I tell my wife? I have a child. How do I tell my wife that I have a child with another woman and want to bring her home? Blessing CEO, please suggest the best opinion to polygamy. How do I break the news to my wife? I see how they drag this famous actor, Yola Duce, and his wife. And I am so scared my wife will pull down the building. What if my wife decides to leave the marriage with our three kids? How do I begin? Advise me on polygamy. I love my wife and I love my side chick. Is it possible to love both of them equally? <clears throat> this, this, this man wants to put me on a hot seat. I'm quickly going to round up the story for those of you who are just coming in. It's about polygamy. He said he got another woman pregnant, like a side chick. And he doesn't want his family to be scattered. He wants to bring the woman in, more like his second wife, but he doesn't know how his wife is going to take it. So he's asking us, how is he going to break the news to the wife? He doesn't want to be dragged. He doesn't know how people are going to take it. You know, just like the famous actor that we have, Yola Doce, when he took a second wife, Judy, the whole internet scattered. Polygamy, man, why can't people stay one place? Okay, I'm gonna quickly drop my opinion before we open up the phone lines for you to drop your opinion. First of all, polygamy is something that is part of Africa, yes. It's part of our culture, it's part of our life. And like I used to say, is there any woman that deserves to be outside? Because you know this thing called polygamy, a lot of women are actually selfish with it. You know, when your husband gets another woman pregnant, you're like, you want her to stay outside while you're the married one. But the question is, whose daughter is good to actually stay outside? Whose daughter is actually good to be unmarried? Whose daughter is actually good to have a fatherless child? So if a man decides to want to take in the woman that he impregnated, I think it's an honorable thing. And if the first wife feels that she's not comfortable with it, she should take a walk. That's my suggestion about polygamy. Polygamy is accepted in the world. Every child is a blessing. And a mistake has been made. A child has been brought. And if a man says he wants to bring up his children under one roof, I don't see anything wrong with that. 
It's only a selfish woman that might say no to that. And that's why I actually love the Muslims, because the Muslims are like, they bring everybody together in one roof and treat them equally. But the Christians, they want to impregnate this person, marry this person, and keep this person outside. So I'm going to say to the man, break the news to your wife. If she doesn't want to stay, she can move. Because as a man, I think it's an honorable thing for you, thing for you to do. Impregnating a young girl and marrying her is dignifying. It shows that you're a man. You are no dogu. Because it takes God to do that, to say you want to raise all your children in one roof. So we're going to open up the phone lines right now to bring your opinion, because I know it's everywhere good your hearts. I know you have something to say. Yes, you do have something to say, especially the women. Why are we so selfish? I used to tell a lot of women, what about your daughters? Let's assume somebody impregnated your child. What do you expect? Are there some women that are good to be baby mamas? And are there some women that are good to be wives? If a man chooses to be dignifying, to bring that woman home, I think it's something honorable, and I respect such man. So you can actually drop your opinion on polygamy. For me, I'm open to polygamy. Just like on the media where they're dragging this popular actor, Yola Ducci, just because he took another wife. I don't see anything wrong. People say that he betrayed his wife. He was supposed Hello? to take permission. Hello? 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 Do we have a call? Hi. Hi, good evening. Hello? I can hear Hello. you. Go ahead. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Go ahead. Hello? Hello? I think we lost the caller. Please feel free to call back. The phone number to call is right on your screen. Hello? We are still talking about polygamy. I was talking about the popular actor, Yolo Doce, who got married to an actress, Judy. The internet has been on fire for over two years right now because people are saying he was supposed to take permission from the wife. But the question is, how many women is actually going to sit down and accept their husband, bring another woman into the house when you're not a Muslim? Let's be very honest. And I ask the question again. If it were to be your daughter that a man got pregnant and keeps her outside wedlock, are you going to be happy as a mother? Don't you think it's something dignifying? So actually put your children under one roof. I think it's something very honorable for a man to do. Feel free to call the number on your screen if you want to drop your opinion about polygamy. As for me, I'm very open to polygamy. Any woman that her husband wants to get another wife and she's not prepared for that, feel free. Hello? Please, could you turn down the music? I can hear you. Go ahead. Hello? I think we lost the caller. I could barely hear you. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV station so that I can hear you guys. We're still talking about polygamy, about a man who actually got another woman pregnant. We have another caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Theo. How are you doing? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. I can hear you. How are you doing? Hello. Hello. Good evening. I can hear you. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can hear you. Yeah, I'm a very good fan of yours. Uh, so what's your name and where are you calling My name from? is uh, Gloria. I'm calling from Kaduna. Okay. You want to drop an opinion? Please, could you turn down the volume of your TV so that I can hear you? Yeah, my my opinion regards to this uh, topic you just raised this evening. Well, I'm um, from the north, 
And we, from the northern part of Nigeria, we are polygamous in nature. And also, I don't think it's a crime for mm -hmm. if a man should impregnate a lady outside and decide to bring her, to home. Bring her home. Like you rightly say, what of if it is someone's daughter or uh, mother? How, how will that person feel? Okay. So in regards to that, I feel my take on it is uh, it's a very, very good one Both for them. you to bring the family together so that they can be able to live under one roof. roof. You monitor them so that they will stay together. And that way, when they grow up, they will be able to identify their siblings. That's my take on this. Thank you so much. God bless you, my darling, from Cardona. Oh, my God. I think I love this advice. I think she sounded this way because she's from the northern part. I asked you again as a woman, whether you're a northerner or you're a Christian, are you going to be happy if somebody actually impregnates your daughter? and decide to make her a baby mama. Are there women that deserves to be married? And are there women that are deserves, that deserve for their kids to be, you know, grown outside wedlock? So I feel it's something very dignifying for a man to impregnate a woman and own up to it. So we have another caller. Hello? 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 Good evening, sir. Please turn down the volume of your TV when you're calling. If you're calling and you don't turn down the volume of your TV, I might not be able to hear what you have to say. I know you want to hear yourself, but it keeps echoing. Use the number on the screen if you want to drop your opinion. It's still Moments with Blessing CEO. If you're just tuning in, we're talking about polygamy, about a man who impregnated another woman outside oh. wedlock, and he doesn't know how to approach his wife. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Yes. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yes, yeah, so I, I heard what the man said. Hello? I can hear you, darling. Go ahead. Hello, are you hearing me? I'm hearing you, my love. Go ahead. Okay. So I my advice to the man is to go ahead and bring in the second wife. But before that, you have to let your wife know because it is very right for her to know that you have another family or you intend to have another family. Do you understand? Yeah. So you can also, because it's not, it's not uh, she might not feel happy. Yes, because you know how women are. Yeah. But you have to try and make her happy and also try to uh, beg her as well. Once you have done what she feel like you have, you can, you can, do, you can do to her, then you can leave everything to God, but make sure that your whole family are together. Mm. That is my advice. Thank you so much. God bless you for this advice. I think I love the women. I really, I actually least expected this to come from women. I thought it w the women were going to banter. Now, it's dignifying for a man to bring his family under one roof. It's a dignifying thing to do. I love such men that can own up to their responsibility. You impregnated a woman and you want to groom your children on that one roof. I think it's something very dignifying to do. So nobody should crucify anybody. If you feel you cannot take polygamy as a woman, then step aside. But I just feel, if a man says he wants to grow his family in one roof, I feel it's something very honorable to do. So we have all the callers, and we have another caller calling. Hello? Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? I think we lost the caller. So it's two moments with blessing C and we're talking about polygamy. Yeah, polygamy. What will be your reaction if your husband come and tell you right now that I have a child outside and I want to bring the child inside? We have another caller. Hello. Hello. Please turn down the volume of your television if you're calling so that we can hear you. We can hear you loud and clear. And we are still talking about polygamy. We have another caller. Hello? Hello? Turn down the volume of your TV, please. Hello? Hello? Good evening. Can you hear me? Okay, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Hello? Hello, sir. I can hear you. Go ahead. Turn down the volume of your TV if you want me to hear you. 
I think we lost the caller. Yeah, please, if you're calling, try to turn down the volume of your TV. If you do not turn down the volume of your TV, I might not be able to hear you. So if you're just tuning in to Channel 189 DSTV, Pop Central only, it's Moments with Blessing CEO, and we're talking about polygamy. And we're saying as a hello? woman, hello. Good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Good evening. I can hear you. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, my name is Anita. I'm cutting from Lagos. Okay, go ahead and drop your opinion. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Anita. Go ahead. Okay, on this topic, I know that so many women will say, yes, let the man bring it to wife because it's very easy to say. But I'm not saying, okay, my own, my own contribution is that you can marry her, but not bring her to her. Because you cannot stay under one roof. So that is it. Let me just be lame, pigeon. They got a chop winch for themselves. So it's better. Let them keep his wife. The wife he wants to marry somewhere else. Maybe get her a house. I'm not saying he should not marry her. But they cannot be in the same house, though. For peace to reign. Okay. That's my own opinion. Thank you so very, very much. Uh, I think I love this caller. She was very blunt. She said, for peace to reign, make the lady chop each other when they can't be in the same house. But it's actually very possible for women to be in the same house. It's just depending on how the man unites them. The truth about it is, is it going to be better that you find out that your husband have children outside wedlock? Or you are aware of who he's sleeping with and how many children that he has? Women, let's be very critical about this polygamy thing. I think if a man is sincere enough to come to you to tell you that, ah, I impregnated somebody. Yes, it could be a mistake. It could be a one-night stand. But there's already a child involved. I think there's absolutely nothing wrong to bring that child home. Polygamy is part of our culture. I don't know where we learned all this. I cannot bring one woman home. You have to be only me. No. It's part of our culture. How do you get to know your siblings? How do you get to train your children? Do you prefer that your husband keeps sneaking and lying instead of being open to you and sharing it with you that, okay, I impregnated somebody. I am sorry. I knew what I did was wrong. Forgive me. After all, the Bible said forgive seven times, seven times. So I don't think there's anything wrong with polygamy. The number is right on your screen. If you want to contribute, feel free to call the number on your screen to contribute to the show. We have another caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good hello. evening. Hello, good hello. evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. I can hear you, ma'am. Good evening. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Go ahead. I think we lost the call. Please turn down the volume of your TV if you're calling so that we can hear you. We have another hello. caller. Hello. Hello. We lost the caller again. Please turn down the volume of your TV if you want to drop your opinion. We are still talking about polygamy. Hello. Hello. I can hear you. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? I, I can hear you. Good evening. Good evening. Hello? I can hear you, ma'am. Good evening. Please turn down the volume of your television if you're calling. If you don't turn down the volume of your television, I will not be able to hear you. Your voice is going to be echoing. We have another caller. Hello? Hello? Hello. Good evening. Where are you calling from and what's your name? Yes, I'm calling from Canada. Okay. You want to drop an opinion on the topic? Hello? I'm calling I from Canada. Okay, I can hear you. Go ahead and speak. Yes. Uh, what I'm trying to say about this polygamous of a team, I'm calling from Kaduna, and okay. it's not that I'm trying to put religion inside it, but men, let's see you, men, they get longer throat to inside their heart. I swear. You know, that natural longer throat to against their heart. So forget say man must stay with one wife or man must not stay with one wife. That's always been the problem with men. 
you know? Yeah. Who are not going to feed a child's life every day for his life? So me, as me, I support polygamy and support a man having more than one wife. So avoid all this, say, okay, man gets belle, uh, man gives another woman belle for outside. That's rubbish. Mm. Thank you That's very much. So me, I, I think... support, I'm calling from Kaduna, so I supported a man to have more than one wife. Thank so you avoid very much. Illegal are you married? I wanted to ask something. Are you married? Are you married? I think we've lost the caller. I love this caller. She's actually very blonde. She said she support polygamy. Say, man, I know they shop poly rice. They, they like to shop a kusi soup, shop a bono, chop a dikaiko. They two get on truths. But for me, personally, as a relationship therapist, I support polygamy. 101%. I prefer a man who would groom his family under one roof. It is dignifying. It is respectful. And I call that man an odogu. It only takes a real man to put his family together. He's not the one that will impregnate one woman, keep one woman in the house and be sneaking around. No. I support polygamy. 101%. A lot of people always tell me, blessing, if you're the one right now, you're married, and your husband gets someone else's pregnant. I'll say, if I cannot take, I will go now. Polygamy is very simple. If you feel you cannot live under the same roof, you walk away. That's the honest truth. It's a choice. But for me, I don't think I'm going to leave my marriage just because my husband has a child outside. It's for better, for worse, remember? And the Bible said, forgive 70 times, 7 times. So if you cannot forgive your husband for ordinary polygamy, then you're not ready for marriage. This is Africa, and polygamy... Is accepted. So feel free to call the number on your screen if you're just joining the show. We have another caller. Hello. 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 Good evening. Can you be audible, please? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Could you turn down the volume of your TV? Hello. If you I can hear you, ma'am. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? I can hear you. Go ahead, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Good evening. My name is Maury. Okay. Can you be audible? I think we lost the caller. Please, when you're trying to call, turn down the volume of your television so that I can hear you, so that we can contribute to this polygamy thing. Ah, the trending one that is happening online is this popular actor, Yolo Duchi and Judy Austin. Hello? Hi. Hi. Good, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Good evening. Okay. Where are you calling from? Okay. Do you want to contribute to the show? You all have something to say about the story, polygamy? Hello? I can hear you. Go ahead. Can you hear? Ah, I think we lost the caller. Please. If you're calling the show, turn down the volume of your television so that I can hear you. The number is right on your screen. If you're just joining the show, it's Moments with Blessing CEO, DSTV, Pop Central Channel 189. That's where you get the... Later show, we're talking about polygamy, about a man who impregnated another woman and wants to bring her home, just like this trending actor, Yola Doce, that all of us have been dragging for three years now for taking another wife. So we're talking about polygamy. If you're a woman, are you going to let your husband bring in another Hello. woman? Hello, I can hear you. Go ahead. Hello. I can hear you. Go ahead. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Okay. Clara from Lagos. Okay. You want to contribute to the show? You look so very beautiful. Thank you so First much. Of all. Thank you. God bless you. So you want to contribute to the show about polygamy? Yes. Go ahead. Hello. Okay, so... Uh, I just like to say that a man has his um, option. I feel like polygamy, he should be open to uh, whatever he wants. 
So, I don't know. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's just that he should do it the right way. What's the right it way? Really, like, it shouldn't be something that is like cheating. He should be open about it. Yeah. Okay. So, that's it. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. You Have a very much. good night. Good night, my darling. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. I think I love this caller so much. She said he should do it the right way. But the question is, what is the right way? How many women would actually accept polygamy? If your husband walks up to you now and tells you, hi, baby, um, I have a confession to make. I'm pregnant to somebody else. What is going to be your reaction? I'm not going to use butter to break his head. So the question now is, what is the right way to actually pass the message to these women about polygamy? We have accepted that it's okay for you to be polygamous in nature because men cannot stay one place. But how do we actually pass this message to this woman? Because they've been dragging this popular actor, Yola Duchi, for three years because he married another woman. <laughs> the internet has been dragging him, dragging him like the lion's den. And the man is saying, I have the right to marry more than one wife. And the internet is saying, no, you would have told your wife before you took another wife. In my own opinion, the man has apologized. He has begged and begged and begged. When you offend somebody and you beg the person, you go kill yourself. The woman said, she doesn't want polygamy. And the man said, I want to grow my children under one roof. So to me, I don't see anything wrong. I actually find it very dignified. I'm a fan of Yola Duce. Yes, a very big fan of Yola Duce. And I find it very dignifying. I found, find it an odogu, just like his wife Judy used to call him. An odogu to be able to say, I want to bring in two wives. It's not easy. <laughs> it takes strength. It takes guts to be able to make that strong decision. That's what makes you a man. To be able to take up responsibility. It's not just to impregnate women. The question is, can you take up the responsibility when it comes? And I think that's what polygamy is all about. The phone number is right on your screen if you want to contribute. I think we have a caller. Hello? Hello? I think we lost the caller. Don't forget, if you're calling, turn down the volume of your television so that I can hear you. We're still talking about polygamy. If now you... Okay. Okay. You want to contribute to the show? Go ahead. Okay. Good evening, my dear. How are you doing? You want to contribute to the show? Hello. I can hear you loud and clear. I can hear you. Go ahead, darling. Okay. Mm. Okay. a very wonderful one. Thank you so much. I, I think I love this caller from Sapele. She said she's accepted polygamy that she even got impregnated by somebody and um, actually told the guy that the guy would have to marry her. I think that's a dignifying... I, li I like bold women, you know? Because I, I don't think there's anybody that you will impregnate and leave the person outside wedlock. So when you impregnate a woman, you should be responsible enough to take up that responsibility to take care of the child, there's absolutely nothing wrong with polygamy. If you're a woman and your husband comes and tells you that I impregnated somebody, I feel it's something honorable to do, to bring the child under one roof. There is no child that does not have a father. What if that person were to be your sister or to be your friend? 
or to even be your own relative, the case is going to be different. So right now, we're going to be going on a break. And when we get back, we're going to be talking about polygamy. Don't forget, it's Moments with Blessing CU. And if you're just tuning in, tune in to Channel 189 DSTV Pop Central only. We'll be right back, guys. We're talking about polygamy. Yeah, polygamy is the topic. As a woman, how are you going to feel when your husband come and tell you that I impregnated somebody and I want to bring them under one roof? What's going to be your feeling? How are you going to react? Are you going to support? Are you going to leave the marriage? Are you going to say, I know they do again? Are you going to pack your children and leave? We want to know your reaction about polygamy. As for the few callers who have called, the women who called said there is absolutely nothing wrong in polygamy. As for me as a relationship expert, I feel there is nothing wrong in polygamy. It's dignifying for me. It's honorable for me. And it's a responsibility for me for a man to impregnate a woman and want to own up the responsibility. The reality about it is that we women, we are always selfish when it comes to other people. What if it were to be your child that was impregnated and being dumped? Nobody wants to be a baby mama. It's not planned. So when a man actually impregnates a woman and want to do the right thing, I think it's something very dignifying to do. Don't forget the phone number to call to drop your opinion is right on your screen. I want to hear from the men. I want to see how the men are going to react. The women have been calling and saying it's okay for polygamy. I want to hear from the men's perspective and from the men's point of view. How are you going to break this news to your wife? We have a caller. Hello? Hello? I think we lost the caller. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your television. Hello? 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 I can hear you. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. What's your name and where are you calling from? Good evening. Good evening. Hello? Good evening. Evening. Hello. Good evening. I'm Kumilayo from Abuja. Okay, I can hear you. Go ahead. Hello? Go ahead. I can hear you. I'm Kumilayo from Abuja. I'm calling my own opinion on this polygamy issue. My own opinion on this polygamy issue is that me, I will not be able to issue turn down the volume of I will your not TV be able to tolerate it immediately okay. my husband is pregnant another woman I pack my children and leave because if, the child, if you raise a child if you raise your children in that kind of environment it's toxic okay what makes it toxic I think we lost the caller. She said she would not be able to take polygamy because if you raise your children under that kind of roof, it's going to be very toxic. I wanted to understand what she meant by toxic. I don't think there's anything wrong in raising children under the same roof. And it's depending on how you groom them. There's nothing toxic about that. I think it's even more toxic when these children are apart. You don't know your brothers. You don't know your sisters. I think when these kids are united, it's better. We have another caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Could you turn down the volume of your TV? Ah, please, when you call, turn down the volume of your TV so that I can hear you. So that we, we need enough contribution, especially from the men. Want to hear from the men what they think about polygamy? How you're going to break this news to your wife if you impregnate somebody else? Are you going to buy a high car? Are you going to kneel down? Are you going to cry? How will you break this news to her? And how are you going to deal with the reaction? Knowing that a lot of women will not accept polygamy. We have another caller, guys. Hello? 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 Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Thank you for calling. What's your name and where are you calling from? Um, I want to talk about the family, the Polygam family. Go ahead, sir. I can hear you. I'll say there's nothing wrong with that. Just to me, as a man. So, 
So I think it's a good idea. So how are you going to break the news to your wife that you impregnated somebody else? Is there a way you can dialogue? How do you break the news? The matters. Okay. Could you just tell us the kind of understanding? How do you tell her the reaction? So let's to me, I can do it. If my wife understands me. Okay. Hello. I think this caller was very blunt. He said, "There's really uh, men are definitely going to support polygamy because they like plenty of food. You, it, they are always saying they cannot eat one food. They cannot eat only a goose. They want to eat vegetable, often salad. They will support polygamy. But the question I actually love this last caller that called. The question is, what kind of woman did you marry? Do you understand your wife? Do you know her reaction?" That, I think that's the breaking point. For you, how are you going to break this news to your wife? Is your wife an understanding wife to be able to know that, okay, my husband have Ed. I cannot kill him. He has impregnated a woman. Let's bring this child home and bring this child together. That I prefer my husband to bring his side chick home. Let me know who my husband is dealing with than outside. That's the honest truth. So I support polygamy 100% as a woman. Bring her home instead of keeping her outside. Let me know what I'm going through. We have another caller. Hello. 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 Good evening, sir. Hello. Good evening, sir. I can hear you. Please turn down the volume of your television. Good evening. I can hear you, sir. Go ahead. I'm Dr. Bart. Okay. Yes, I'm Dr. Bart. I'm Dr. Bas. Okay, sir. Go ahead. Hi, yeah. I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. My. Please turn down the volume of your TV if you're calling. If you don't turn down the volume of your TV, I will not be able to hear you. Please turn it down. I know you want to hear yourself, but let's get a lot of opinion from different people. The calls are jamming. Turn down the volume of your television once we pick up your call. The phone number is right on your screen and it's still moment with bless and see you. And we are still talking about polygamy. How are you gonna break this news to your wife? Hello. Hello? I can hear you, sir. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Yeah. We must stay. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear, sir. Go ahead. Okay. My own to take care. It's very simple. If you have, if you're very, if you have a, a rich man, your wife will have a whole key. If you have it, then take care of it. No. There is a little which you have. Uh, you have You have not, you're not able to give you a little and then you are out there. You give me. I will be I think we lost the caller. I didn't really get what he was saying, but I think he was saying, um, it's notable. I didn't hear him very well. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your television so that we can hear you. We want to hear different opinions from both male and both female. If you're a man, how are you going to break the news to your woman? We have another caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. <laughs> Hello. Good evening, sir. I can hear you. <coughs> Hello. I can hear you, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, good evening. Evening, sir. What's your name and why are you calling from yeah, you? I'm Barista Prosper. Okay. Go ahead, sir. Uh, I, can't, I can't really hear you. I can hear you clearly. Go ahead. 
Okay, so um, concerning the the polygamous something that you were saying, I was watching the TV and I saw it. Okay. You said? I can hear okay. you. Okay, concerning the topic we're talking on. I can hear you, sir. So I think generally men are polygamous on our own. I won't lie to you. Okay. Uh, I think I wanted to hear so much from this caller. He was very honest. He said, he's not going to lie to me. Naturally, men are polygamous in nature. I have a lot of men behind the camera. They're just looking at me and eyeing me. They are polygamous in nature. Both the ones that we bring the children home and the ones that we not bring the children home. Both the baby mamas, they are poly it's in their DNA. And it's part of our culture. No matter how you want to fight it, how you want to cry, polygamy is part of us. The question is, can you take up the responsibility? If you're impregnating another woman or you want to marry more than one wife, can you take up the responsibility? Can you treat them equally? That's where the problem is. But for me, I don't see any big deal with polygamy. If you want to bring your children together under the same roof, I think it's one of the best opinions. So long as you have an understanding wife and you can control your home. And that's what it should be. Men say they are polygamous in nature. So there is nothing you want to do as a woman that will stop a man from cheating. That will stop them from sleeping with women without protection. We have another caller. Hello. Please turn down the volume of your TV while you're calling. Hello. I think we lost the caller. When you want to call, turn down the volume of your TV so that I can hear you. The number to call is right on your screen. It's two moments with Bless and see you. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, I guess it's again. What's your name? Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. It's all right. I'm trying to make a contribution. Go ahead. So, the issue of polygamy, I believe men are polygamy, polygamous the same way as women. Actually. We have women that are polygamous at the same time. Really? Okay. Okay. And you say you believe in it hundred percent. Okay. So for me, my take is that someone that wants to have a peaceful marriage, you understand? Yeah. They shouldn't vote for polygamy, except it's people that want that goes all the time. Those are the people that should be going for polygamy. Because when you come to polygamy, you're having jealousy and all those things. You don't believe that <laughs> a man you, you don't you don't believe that a man can actually put his home together. <laughs> all right, bye. Okay, thank you very much for calling. The guy actually made a very good point. He said, if you want to have a peaceful home, you don't want bus bus, you should not bring polygamy. But I don't think so. It's depending on the kind of woman you're bringing in and how powerful you are as a man. I'm going to use this very powerful senator, for example, Ned Mwoko. He has more than five wives. And they all live together. He all puts his children in one roof. That's the honest truth. And I've never heard any of them fighting or quarreling or saying this child or this child. No. I think it's the man. It's how you want to curb your home. Or cop the women that you are dating or you're married to. And I'm also going to say to the men out there, if you want to be polygamous in nature, make sure you have money to be able to take care of those children. Because when there is money, I don't think there'll be bass bulls. I think the bass bulls actually come when you cannot take a certain responsibility. In Igbo language, they will say, Anota abo achupo agadi. When you marry the second one, you will not start maltreating the first one. But if you can treat the women and treat the children equally, there is absolutely nothing wrong in polygamy. And as for women, there is no way you will cry from today to tomorrow that will stop men from being polygamous in nature, especially in Africa. It is part of our culture. It is part of our tradition. It is part of us. Men are 
polygamous in nature. The earlier we begin to understand that, the better for us. We have men that say, I don't want to marry more than one wife, but situation happen. Now condition of female crayfish Ben. A man might say, I want to marry just one wife, but along the line, something could happen. I expect you to be an understanding wife. I expect you to support your husband. Why leave your home just because your husband made a mistake or just because he impregnated somebody else? I don't think that's what marriage is all about. Marriage is all about forgiveness, acceptance, love. In fact, when your husband impregnates another woman, I think that's the best time that you need to be an understanding wife and a mother. Like I said, if this girl was to be your child, your sister or your loved one, trust me, you're not going to be sounding the way you're sounding. You're going to want a man to bring the person into the home and make her a wife and for the child to also have a father. Don't forget we're talking about polygamy and the number to call is on the screen, channel 189DSTV only, guys on Pop Central. So if you have any contribution that you want to contribute, feel free to call the number on the screen and drop your contribution about polygamy. If you're a man, how are you going to express this to your wife? We have a caller. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, mom. I can hear you. Hello. I can hear you. Go ahead. I think we lost the caller. I can always hear you. Once you call, just turn down the volume of your TV and I can hear you. We have another caller. Hello? Turn down the volume of your TV. Hello? Hello, good evening. Hello. I can hear you. Go ahead. How are you doing? Good evening, how are you? <laughs> Please turn down the volume of your television when you're calling. I know you want to hear yourself, but if the volume of your television is high, I cannot hear what you're saying. So once you're calling or your call has been picked, turn down the volume of your TV. We have another caller. Hello? Good evening, sir. I can hear you loud and clear, sir. I think we lost that caller. That was a very interesting topic. Please call back if you have the opportunity and turn on the volume of your television. We are still talking about polygamy. Hello, we have another caller. Hello? Turn down the volume of your TV so I can hear you. Hello? Hello, good evening. Hello? Go ahead, my darling. I can hear you. Hello? I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. Hello? I can hear you. I think we lost the caller. Please, when you call, turn down the volume of your television. We want to get a lot of opinion, both from men and from women. Well, when the volume of your television is high, I cannot hear you. So the number to call is right on your screen. It's still Moment with Blessing See You. And if you're just tuning in, it's channel 189, only on Pop Central DSTV. That's what we have. All the relationship and marriage talk. We're actually talking about polygamy. If you're a man, how do you break this news to your wife if you've impregnated somebody outside? And if you're a woman, how are you going to react to it? So we have another caller. Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, darling. What's your name and where are you calling from? I can hear you loud and clear. Yes, Mama, good evening, Good evening, darling. How are you doing? I'm fine. So you want to contribute? I love you too. I love you too, my darling. So what do you want to contribute to the sh I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Very loud and clear. Okay, yeah, in the 
Thank you so much. I love you so much. Thank you so much. This is a very intelligent caller. She said, did you hear what she said? If you want to be polygamous, you have to have money. Polygamy is not for the poor. If you want to be polygamous in miniature, you want to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wives. You need to have the financial capacity to take care of them. Because it's only when you have the financial capacity that you can actually control them. If you have up to four wives, five wives, six wives, anybody that fights in your house, you tell the person you go walk out come out with your picking. So for a man, if you want to go into polygamy or you want to start sleeping around with different girls without protection, make sure you have money. Because I think money is the bone of contention. Being able to bring these children under one roof and take responsibility of all of them. The number to call is still on your screen. And I'm still going to keep using this actor as an example. Yola Duchi. I think I respect him a lot. He's been dragged for so many years just for taking another wife. I don't know why the internet is dragging him. He says, I want polygamy. I'm a polygamous man. And people are saying, no, you must marry one woman. You don't tell a man what to do. The deal has been done. And some people actually ask me, can you fall in love with two women at the same time? Yes, you can. Because there's something you might actually be benefiting from this woman. You might not benefit from this woman. Remember we said, men don't like to eat one soup. This one might be your coro. This one might be a goosey. Tomorrow he will want a dikaiko. Next morning he will want a fang. This is our culture. No matter how we want to imitate the wife, the white people, polygamy is part of us. In the days of our forefathers, they used to marry 10 wives and keep all of them in one roof. Nothing happened. So I don't think there's anything wrong with polygamy. There is no woman that is qualified to be a baby mama. Or there is no woman that should be groomed. Or her child should be groomed outside wedlock. If this person were to be your daughter, your sister, or your relative, are you going to want this man to groom this child outside wedlock? The phone number to call to drop your opinion is right on your screen. And when you're calling, please turn down the volume of your television. We have a caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Welcome to Moment of Blessing CEO. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, good evening, ma'am. Good evening. I can hear you. Go ahead and contribute. Hello, fine. Loud and clear. Okay, I'm going to Delta. Go ahead. I think we lost the caller. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. We want to get enough opinions about polygamy. Because this has triggered for a long time. When you go online, you see these online in-laws making so much noise about polygamy. Especially with this particular actor. I'm a fan of Yolo Duchi. Like, I'm a number one fan. I see people saying, why well, does he have to marry another wife? <laughs> so long as he has the capacity to take care of all his children. And I think he's doing so. We have another caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Please turn down the volume of your TV so that we can hear you. If you don't turn down the volume of your TV, we will not be able to hear you. Please feel free to call the number on your screen if you want to contribute. Hello, like, 
Hello? When you're calling, please turn down the volume of your TV. Hello? Hello, good evening. Hello? Good evening, mom. I can hear you. Go ahead, I can hear you. What's your name and where are you calling from? I think we lost the caller. Um, we're still talking about polygamy, guys. And please, when you want to call, turn down the volume of your TV so that we can hear what you have to say. We're going to be right back. We're going to begin a short break. And I want to ask you again, if you're a man and you impregnate another woman, how are you going to break the news to your wife? And if you're a woman and your husband comes to tell you that he impregnated somebody else and want to bring her into the house on that one roof, what is going to be your reaction? We're going to be right back on DSTV channel 189. If you're just tuning in, sit down. We'll be right back. I love you guys. Welcome back to Moments with Blessing CEO. I hope you enjoyed that music from Boy Space. If they call you or Wanja, we don't care so long as you're in love. Mommy, what the? I don't care. I don't care. I hope you're sitting right in front of your television. DSTV Pop Central Channel 189 Moments with Blessing CEO. And we've been talking about polygamy. How are you going to react? If your husband come and tell you right now that I have a child outside and I want to bring the child home, I don't want to grow my children outside where love. What's going to be your reaction as a woman? And as a man, how are you going to break this news to your wife? Are you going to do, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, mommy what town, I don't care, I don't care. Well, are you going to be coconut head like Yolo Doche and Judy Austin? Oh, I don't care. Would you not care? And see, go ahead to marry the love of your life. <laughs> I don't care. Please feel free to call the number on the screen and contribute. If you're a man, tell us how you're going to break the news to your wife. And if you're a woman, tell us how you're going to accept the news from your husband. Are you going to accept sitting on the same roof with another woman or are you going to leave? As for me, I'm an advocate of polygamy. Hello, we have a caller. Hello. <laughs> Hi, good evening. Please turn down the volume of your TV, guys, so that I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello? The calls are jamming. When you call, please turn down the volume of your TV so that we can get enough calls and enjoy this conversation. We have another caller. Hello? Hello, I'm Jason. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. I can hear you, ma'am. Go ahead. Yes. If I'm a woman... Okay. I, if I'm a woman, if I knew from the beginning or onset that is a polygamy, there's no need to worry about it. Let him tell me first. Then secondly, he should bring the uh, woman home so she could take care of her son or her children. Mm. Because no one will take care of your child better than you yeah. do. So if it's um, if it's a monogamy, then that's where we talk about the maybe I'll be angry and all that. But if it is a polygamy, I know from onset that will be more than one or two. So he should just bring her, bring the woman uh, home and the child. Mm. Thank you so much, ma'am. I think I love your opinion. This was a very, I think I love the women on the show. They are very mature, they are very calculative, and they are very intelligent. I thought I was going to hear the women bantering. Yes, this woman said, bring her home. But tell me, 
But there's something a lot of people do not understand. A lot of men do not actually plan to be polygamous in nature. There are some men that want to be faithful to their wives, but something just happened. Now, condition I make crayfish come bend. So it's not as if these men actually plan this polygamy. There are some of these men that just want one wife. But along the way, temptation, these Delilahs and all these young Jezebels, in my own Gen Z buddies, they will come and just put men into temptation. And you know, these girls of these days, they are hot, Mandy Milenyash, everybody is looking tam, tam, tam. And like somebody said, the color men are scarce. So anyone where you see you, one hole and gum body, you understand? So I'm going to leave the line open for you to drop your opinion. The phone number to call is right on your screen. And it's Moments with Blessing CEO. And we're talking about polygamy. If you're just joining the show, it's channel 189 DSTV Pop Central. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you doing? Hello. I can hear you loud and clear, darling. Good evening, Ma. Good evening. I can hear you, darling. I'm fine, ma'am. I love you and I'm a big fan of I you. I love you too. Mwah. So do you want so to contribute? my opinion okay. on this polygamy, family, stuff and all that is that the man should open up to the woman. Okay. Because, yes, you know that men are polygamous in this show. But it is better that you open up to the woman that, ah, I'm married though and I have children, so that it will be the choice of the woman to be a second wife or not. Because okay. you will not just date a woman after years, then you get married to her, then you be shy there, then you just come all of a sudden that I have a wife and children outside. It's very painful and wealthy. So the thing is that men should open up to the woman that I'm a married man and I have a children outside. So that will be the choice of that woman to say, okay, I will accept to be a polygamy family or whatever. I will open up. Okay. Not that you just lie, because at the end of the day, this is the marriage or lies and all that. So it's better for men to open up in this polygamy of a school. Oh, my God. Thank you so Thank much. You, I love you, darling. Thank you so much. She said that the men should open up to polygamy. But the honest truth is, like I said, a lot of men do not plan to be polygamous in nature. A lot of men do not even know that they will cheat. Some men actually love their wife so much. A temptation, no. Sometimes you go just to make you go out, go chop one mouth. As you just go chop one mouth, belly go enter. Baby girl go say she no one come up belly. Now so it's take the start. So sometimes this polygamy, it's not like the man intentionally want to disrespect his wife. No. Sometimes it's the circumstances that just cause all this baby mama and stuff like that. So I expect the women out there to be understanding with this young girls. Men are scared too. Responsible men are scarce. The people we have these days in the Ojiam with Diego, all these boys that are roaming about with pennies. They don't have Shengbai. So it's very, very difficult to find a man that is responsible enough to want to take the responsibility of grooming a child. That's why some women, once they get pregnant for a man, they say, no, I know they come out and Oga, you go marry me and you go carry me enter house. So the phone number is still right on your screen. If you want to contribute to the show about polygamy, feel free to call the number on your screen. Don't forget to turn down the volume of your television if you want me to hear you. We need your opinions. Very important. Hello, we have another caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. I think we lost the caller. Please, when you call, turn down the volume of your television. I'm actually very happy that women are taking this polygamy team. We have another caller. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. I can hear you. Good evening. Hello. I can hear you. I think we lost the caller. When you call, please go ahead and talk. Turn down the volume of your TV. Because if you do not turn down the volume of your TV, it's going to be echoing. I know you want to hear yourself, but if you want me to hear you, you have to turn down the volume of your TV. Don't forget, we're still in 
Pop Central Channel 189. If you're just tuning in, we're talking about polygamy. And we're talking about men. How are you going to break it to your wife when you have a child outside wedlock? And women, how are you going to accept it? Are you going to accept polygamy? Or are you going to say, I don't want this marriage again? We're actually waiting for different opinion from different people. Hello. We have Hello, a good evening, Ma. Good evening. How are you doing? Hello, good evening, Ma. Can you I, hear me? I can hear you loud and clear, my darling. Go ahead. Oh, my God. When you call, please turn down the volume of your television. I want to get enough calls. I want to get the calls that are jamming. When you call, just reduce the volume of your TV. I know you want to hear yourself, but I cannot hear you. So feel free to turn down the volume of your TV. We're also talking about polygamy. And would like us to contribute because the Hello. bank... Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Good evening, ma'am. I can hear you. Hi, good evening. Go ahead. You want to contribute to the show? Yeah, it's for me. Hello? I can hear you, ma'am. Loud and clear. Go ahead. Yeah, what I want to say is that, um, to me, for the man, they should try to be telling the woman the truth. What? If truly you, you love the woman and you know that you love your own, your wife at home and you love the one that you are going out with, but at least I think we lost the caller. I think she was trying to say for men out there, if you have to make that decision of polygamy, please tell your wife. I think the bone of contention is that the women want to be aware if you want to make this decision. Don't spring it up on them. I think it's that spring up that gets a lot of them very uncomfortable. So if you're a man, we have another caller. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Go ahead, ma'am. I can hear you. Are you hearing me? Loud and clear. Okay. So, I want to talk about the polygamy issue. Go ahead, ma'am. Yeah. Number one is, we are, we are in our sector. You understand? And we have cultures, we have traditions. I know we are trying to decivilize another, but at the end of the day, we are still Africans. And this issue of polygamy is not something that I would just take up. If you are a wife and your husband happens to have another woman outside and you are aware of that, if you can, if you can uh, uh, cope with the whole issue, it is okay. But if you feel you cannot cope, because it is an option for you to decide if you can cope or not. I don't see the reason why a man has to insult you or maybe say, no, you must accept. No, it is not done that way. If I happen to be in a situation where my husband will say, okay, I have another woman outside, I'll have to decide. Uh, you have another woman outside. I will then decide on my own. Will I accept her or will I look for my own alternative? You have made your choice of marrying another woman or getting another woman pregnant or having another family. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Now it is for the lady also to make her own decision. Not for you to be telling the man, no, you cannot bring in another man, another woman. I cannot, I cannot accept. It is not done that way. It is not done that way. It is the man that, except maybe you are the one taking care of the man, taking care of the family, that is where it's very wrong for the man to do such a thing. But whereby a man is taking proper care of the family, taking proper care of the children, the affairs of the home, and is capable. Another thing is if the man has the finances to run the home, because a polygamous home is not an easy one. Mm. Even a, a single home that is not a monogamy home is, is not even easy to be run. Talk more of Polygam. having two, three additional wives and children. You need to be capable, one, financially, 
two mentally, emotionally strong, because it's not easy to control women at all. Mm. It is not. So if a man say you want to go and bring in another uh, another wife, you have to be sure that you are a man enough to do it. It's not just about having money, because some people are saying, I ah, must have money. Money alone is not the issue. Money alone. There are some men that I see, they have money, yet the family is not the same thing. You will have to stand. You have to talk at him and give orders, give authorities, and make sure that the woman under you, the, or the women under you, have to respect you. So mm. anyone that says, no, I cannot do this, that it, it is not a do or die affair. You, mm. you, you, you work out. You work out. That is how, it, that is how I see it. And <laughs> if, if, if it's not right that you, uh, if you keep a woman outside, and then you'll be seeing her. I don't know the kind of plan you have for her. If your daughter, if they happen to put your daughter in that kind of situation, I believe that as a man, you will not be happy. Is mm. that you are marrying the lady or you are letting her go? go. So that is my take. Thank you so much. This is very intelligent. I think I love this caller. She was very plain. She, was, she sounded very intelligent. It's not just about money. Do you have the emotional stability? Because we women, we get wala. Our wala no be here. That's the thing. Do you have the emotional stability? Are you strong enough as a man to be able to control these women? Because women can make you go crazy. So it's not even about having the financial capacity. Do you have the mental capacity? Do you have the emotional capacity to bring these women together? Except your house will become Fuji house of commotion. You will pack women and keep in the house. To go home will not be hungry in you. So as a man, if you want to be polygamous in nature, you need to be ready. Women are a bunch of wahala. You just heard, to run just a normal one man, a monogamous home is work. Of us say polygamy, when you want to pack different women from different tribes and different children, you have to be strong mentally. So when you're doing polygamy or you're sleeping around as a man, without protection. You should have an understanding that there are consequences, there are implications to this stuff. So you prepare your mind, and just like the lady said, women, let's be considerate. If it were to be your sister, and let's be very honest, a lot of these young girls don't even know the left to their right. It's even your husbands that we are supposed to blame because these men are supposed to use protection on these young girls. If you know you're not going to marry her or you don't want to have a family with this young girl, why sleep with her without protection? Because the consequences of sleeping with a woman without protection is having a baby. And not every woman will want to have an abortion. And there's some women that have actually had abortions severally and say, I don't want to abort again. I go born this one. So as a man... First of all, you need to understand decision-making and be sure that this is what you want to do. Mentally, financially, emotionally, you must be strong if you want to go into polygamy. You must have coconut head like your Lodichi. You can see that they've been dragging him for the past three years. And he used to say, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Mommy, what's up? I don't care, I don't care. So if you must be a polygamous man, you must have coconut head. Be able to stand your feet on the ground and say, this is what I want. I want to bring my family under one roof. And you should be able to control the women that you are marrying. Like the last caller said, make sure it is not the woman that is paying the bill and you want to be polygamous. Before you say you want to go into polygamy, you are a man, it will do. So that when you're bringing in these women or you're bringing in these children, you can stand your feet to the ground and make a very strong decision. Don't forget the number to call is right on your screen if you want to contribute to polygamy. How are you going to react as a woman if your husband come and tell you that? I'm bringing in another wife. And how are you going to tell your wife as a man, if you impregnate another woman, I want to bring her under the same roof? That is what we're talking about. The phone number to call is right on your screen. And when you're calling, please feel free to turn down the volume of your television so I can hear you. We have a caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Please be audible. Hello. Go ahead. I can hear you. I think we lost the caller. Please, when you call, try and be audible and turn down the volume of your television so that I can hear you. We're still right here in Pop Central Channel 189. Moments with Blessing CEO. We have another caller. Moments with Blessing CEO. So if you're just tuning in, we're talking about polygamy. 
you know, it's been trending about the popular actor Yolo Duche who got married to another woman and the internet has been raving mad. We have another caller. Hello. 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 Good evening. Hello. Good evening. I can hear you, ma'am. Go ahead. Hello. Go ahead. I can hear you. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Can you hear me? Loud and clear, ma'am. All right. I'm happy listening to this your topic on the polygamy issue. Okay. Many have been, many have been, I mean, a lot has been said already. I just want to chip in my own thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, it takes maturity on the, on the part of a man to keep a home together, especially when you have many wives. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up, there was a particular man in our village. He had two wives and had so many children. But the way he brought up those children still marvel me up on today. Because you can hardly know which among the two wives that bear each of the children. Because they coexisted together happily. The oldest wife and the lower and younger, younger wife, they were living happily together. Up till now, I still, if I look at the, the family, I still wonder how the man was still do to at least, you know, bring all the rest of the children and the two wives harmoniously and happily together. Mm. The man has died now, but the two wives are still alive and the children are still being raised. Mm. So, like I said earlier, on, it takes maturity mm. and it takes emotional balance. Mm. on the part of a man to be able to have a, 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 a polygamous family successfully. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ma. This was very interesting. Did you hear what she said? She said, while well, growing up, there's a man... You can actually have a polygamous family that is united. It's just depending on the man. The women that are around you, how, how strong are you? Are you a man? Are you an Odugu? So the truth about others, there is absolutely nothing wrong in polygamy. If you're a man and you want to go polygamous in nature, make sure you are emotionally stable, financially stable, mentally stable to be able to bring two women or more than one woman in one room with different children. As we come your way next time on Moment with Blessing CEO, the same channel, Every Saturday, 10 p.m., channel 189, where we are going to be discussing everything that happens behind closed doors. As I remind your favorite host, Blessing CEO, I'm going to see you guys some other time. <laughs>